on YouTube? Welcome back, Thunder RC. Ho, 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 I got something good to show you. M2C Beefcake X Max build right here. This thing is loaded, guys. Come check this out. Hobby Wing Max 5 ESC with the brand new M2C ESC mounting plate and the chassis stiffener bar here. Full on M2C sliding X Max mount. I have a Spectrum 1100 KV Firma brushless motor in there. A 33 tooth Saga Customs Racing Pinion Gear Mod 1 and a 46 tooth Spur Gear. Now, with that being said, you're going to hear a little squealing because my gear mesh is a little bit tight and I've got some grease on there, everything that's fine. One thing I've learned with X Max when you start running bigger gears, especially Mod 1, you got to run them a little bit tighter than you would, otherwise, they'll strip. So, I actually have some WFO gears coming in 1.5. We're going to try that in the future. But this setup is so, so nice. Um, <laughs> I have the M2C drive shaft in there with all the goodies. If you saw the previous video, you understand. Atomic RC, aluminum anodized caster blocks. I've got Entigy, uh turnbuckles on there. I've got RPM hubs in the rear with the oversized bearings. I've got the captured RPM pins and stock suspension, stock oils, running an 8S 100C LiPos and a Dark Side Studios body. And we've got the Terminator ramp here at a new spot. So let's get this thing going. It seems pretty lively. Woo! Definitely got loads of power there. That's quick. My electrical tape for my batteries is coming off, but uh, let's check out the insides. Those are some big jumps for sure. Let's see how she's holding up. Wow, so far everything's perfect, y'all. Have a look. Gear mesh is still A-OK. -okay. The motor hasn't moved an inch on all the other aftermarket motor mounts that I've had in the past, the motor always flexed and I ruined my gear mesh. But on the M2C mount, this thing is kicking butt. ESC's in good place. I am super impressed, y'all. And of course, the center drive shaft's perfect. Wow. I've never seen an X-Max handle a big can like that with jumps like that and still going. I don't have a fan on this and I just kind of want to see what my temps are at the moment. 146. So she's a little warm, 104 on the ESC. If I put a fan on that, I'd be good. So far, y'all, I'm really digging this setup. I'm gonna put more tape on here. You're probably gonna laugh because of my tape, but it, it's a good way of keeping all my connectors together. When you send it like me, it's the only thing that really keeps everything tight and snug. Okay, let's, let's keep going.
body popped off, that's it. Something's bound up in there, guys. I don't know if that's a diff or, or what it is. We're gonna have to find out. Ah, there she be. So the dog bone actually, that's that's what failed. Looks like the the pin pushed this way and yeah, it's kind of chewed up a bit. Well, as I said before, this is in testing, y'all. This is not the finished product. All right, so there's the steel drive shaft. You can see how beefy that sucker is. I don't think this thing's ever gonna break. Uh, probably gonna need a steel drive cup with it. Um, so we're gonna use the aluminum one and see how long it lasts. But yeah, I think steel is gonna be the way to go for the finished product. All right, everyone, so I just wanna show you what I went ahead and did. I replaced the aluminum rear shaft there and put the steel one in. The front shaft's still good. And I'm still using that drive cup, even though it's a little chewed up. So you can see it's smooth, but we're gonna send it some more. Something's not happy. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, looks like it did it again. But it's the drive cup this time, y'all. It was so chewed up from that last experience that I guess it just couldn't couldn't keep it together. Okay, well that's the end of this bash. Um, I think she held up awesome. I do think that there needs to be a little bit more testing with some uh, hardened steel parts maybe, steel drive cups, steel drive shafts all the way throughout. Uh, other than that, the motor mount held up beautifully. Everything's still perfect. Uh, my gear mesh looks good. Motor looks good. ESC looks good. And the truck is still in one piece and we were we were sending her huge so big props to m2c racing and everyone that's involved thank you so much for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe and we'll catch you next time